All right, it's been a while since we played some magic. Um, I'm trying out Limited to see if I like it more. Constructed has been a dumpster fire since War of the Spark came out. And now that that's gone, I'm like, I'm hesitant to want to play and have my hopes dashed. Opponent's going first, so I get to draw. I think I keep. This is greedy, but if I draw a black source on two, I'm in real good shape. Didn't draw a black source on two. Okay, but we we if we draw anything, we have a relic golem. Right? No, Lotus Cobra! Why? Why are you so terrible, God? God no! Oh, four man on turn three. Oof. When this gets a when this gets... Oh, I'll put a 1-1 counter on that. That's... I think I'd play this anyway. I'm literally just drawing islands. <laughs> oh, magic. God. My opponent got real good with it. Lotus Cobra's busted. Oh, my God. Finally got that swamp chat. Wait, that's permanent? That's permanent? That's mean. I think we lose this just from this Lotus Cobra. We're, we're in trouble. They put an enchantment on it. Yeah. When enchanted land dies, return it to the owner's hand. That's pretty good. I think my opponent has us here. Should have mulliganed. I should have mulliganed. That's what this has taught me. But also, Lotus Cobra is bullcrap. Still dead. All right, enjoy. No, I know it's a creature. I wasn't sure if it was until end of turn or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's an enchantment. Yeah, Lotus Cobra is totally busted. All right, we got, we got some modal stuff here. All we need is a uh, second black source to play our Nighthawk Scavenger, so that's pretty cool. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna I'm destroy this. I can't have them milling me like that. that. That's just bad beats. Right? Like, that's just bad. Bad beats. One black source. Your finest swamp. I am a swamp gal. Okay? I'll live in that bog the rest of my life. Curse you! You are a charlatan! Why am I bad at mulliganing? <gasps> Swamp! Don't kill it. Look at this Nighthawk scavenger chat. All this vampire rogue wants to do is steal stuff and drink your blood. There's nothing wrong with that. This is America. Or is this Zendikar? I'm pretty sure it's still Acapulco. Acapulco. I can't word right now. It's just a battlefield target reveals a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of cards in your party. You choose one of those cards that player discards it. Um, yeah, sure, this one. You can discard this. I think I want to attack. I want to attack and gain two life. Americar, Zendika. <laughs> All right. Um, 
I think I want to play the Expedition Stalker and just have something to do with my mana. I don't want to. I don't want to play into the Royal until I can kick it. Honestly. Now there is a card that gives indestructible. But I think we just hold back with this Expedition Skulker. Art on that is gorgeous. And now we want to bounce it. I think I just kill this now. Because it's also going to buff the Nighthawk Scavenger, right? No? Do you have another snake in there? No creature card? Alright. And now I can bounce this. No, I can't. I have to have two blue. I have to have two blue to bounce it with Royal. We're going to we're going to cascade here next turn. Yes, attack me, Squire. Line up and attack me. You're a nerd. They also got a Zareth. So I get rid of that. If I get a land, the Worm Horror is a pretty good beat. I think I get rid of the Seer. No, I get rid of the Worm, right? No, I get rid of the Seer because I don't want them taking the Worm. I am so over you right now. I I can't win from here. <sighs> I hope they play something out. God, that's so br brutal. How is it that I have all these sources of land and I'm getting mana choked? This is a legendary, yes. This isn't a kicker. You can pay this cost from their hand, return an unplocked attacking rogue you control to its owner's hand, and then put this into the battlefield in place of it, tapped and attacking. It's like the ninjutsu cards. Oh, for the royal, it returns a permanent back to the tan, and then if the spell was kicked, I draw a card. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, they just take that back. Good golly! This is why I hate magic. <laughs> yeah. No, I, th I think we mulligan. All right, all right. This is better. We're going to get rid of that. All right, base camp. I don't think you could go anywhere after that. Yeah, I could have bounced my creature to save it from the sack. Yeah, but then I'm just like done. This is not a good time. All right. Soaring thought thief. This is the part where they uh, have a kill spell. All right, one time, one time, please. No kill spell, no reach. Let this flying little soaring road fly into the uh, into the loving embrace of milling my opponent to death. You don't, don't. Just be reading the card, don't do that. Just, just, just let it be. Just let it be. Just let it be. Okay? This did nothing to you. Let him steal from you. Okay, Seraph? The amount of time that people make decisions in magic and then rope is also nerve-wracking. 
That's why I like Rune Terror. It forces you. God bless you. I think I'm just now gonna have the six six and mill them every time. Ah. I'm so mad. I am so mad. One time. So uh, this is another reason why I don't really like streaming magic anymore. It's just like this nonsense. Um, I think... I think I want to play this as an island and then say go. Yeah, I, I don't like playing magic because my opponents are always like, let me rope every single turn. It's tiresome. Like right now. Watsy, if you're ever listening, can you just, oh my God. Yeah, cool. Yeah, target, doesn't matter. But well, hopefully they needed those lands. They, they just take forever. Blasting chat. The hell does this do? Landfall whenever a land equips. Pre equipped creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, my opponent. Like, I, I think this draft is doomed to fail, chat. They're going to landfall me, get five. Having having disruption. Two really good disruption spells in their opener. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, cool. All right, I take the five. was kicked it enters the battlefield with two extra counters no i think i could deal with that i would love it if they had another creature in their hand or in their graveyard it, that really sucks because this does i need a permanent from their graveyard under my control take another five ball All right. Well, this is the part where they have a removal spell, right? Part where they have a removal spell? No, they don't. I kind of love that. All right. You're in. You're in. We're playing like we don't have anything. Uh, we have no fear, chat. We're playing like we have no fear. Wow. Wow. Tell me they have a second rabid bite. I I cannot catch a forking break with this game today. It's super tilting. Right? Like holy hell. Four one. It's 
very frustrating. So they're going with a protect the queen strategy. This is what I'm talking about with magic. It gets real working frustrating. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to tap this. And draw a card. Tap, you don't untap. I'm going to decline to uh, turn its power on. We might be able to snake away a win here. It's not going to tap. It's not going to untap next turn. Welcome back, Zucker. This is a cool board, yeah. I'm gonna whine. This game is unfair to me. Give me give me free stuff. My opponent's got a great deck. Oh my god. I hate you so much. Look at how much removal they have. This is obnoxious. Go there. We're gonna play this. A 6 3. And we're also gonna play the Dread Worm. So you have to kill us now. Great. Draw a card. Doesn't have anything. We win. Yes! Yes! Get out of here with your perfect answers. Listen, if you came for someone who doesn't salt at the clearly variance-based game, you're you're in the wrong place. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm down for this. Kidding me? Oh no. Alright. Nighthawk scavenger. One time, just keep the vampires alive, okay? It's like the vampires of Staten Island. Goid, God, I am so sick of this game right now. Uh-huh. Oh, I should have played this for a blue. I'm a nerd. Yep, definitely a nerd. God, always with the answers. No, it was a fine keep. Can we kick this? No, we need two blue. God bless you, little nerd. Um, it's an instant. Yeah, I think I just instant it up. We have a really good top top end, so I'm, I'm not too concerned about this. And if they play a bunch of pump spells into stuff... Like right now, I want to kill that. Or do I? I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay taking the two. Yeah, I think I just want to kill this and take five. Dark Sucker, thank you for the bits. Alright, let's take another five, right? I think I just want to play it out and then... If they have a, an answer here, they have an answer. It's more likely that they'll have a, a deal one than a deal two here. So... What is this? Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> Journey to Oblivion. All right. Do I care about this? I don't think I do. I think I take the three and then say, what up? My turn. Kick that. I now get my, my, my nerd back. Attack. Get their pyroclastic hellion. Decline that. Counter mage. Kick. Bounce their 3-2 to their hand. Now they have to spend their entire turn doing Journey to Oblivion. There we go. That was a really good turn for us. Because they can't play both, right? No, they can. But like... Like that is, that is, that is good for us. Two, three, four. Gain control of target creature gains haste until end of turn. Okay. Give a sacrifice spell. Like I wouldn't block with that. I'm gonna tap this and see what they got. That's pretty nice, actually. No! No, Dr. Dimmer! I was about to win! No, I think this is... Uh, we have a better hand here. There we go. I'm probably also going to gain collections via drafts. Yeah, I, I just am having a fun time with drafts more than I am with... Um, this nonsense. Maybe I should have played the Salon Division as a blue because I wasn't going to play anything here. But it kind of faints like we have a counter spell. Maybe. It's actually a perfect draw because now we can keep this on in our hand. I want to see what they do. We're the bigger fish, chat. Hey, we got two wins. That's pretty nice. Landfall. Whenever this enters the battlefield under your control, get plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's a three mana spell, huh? Should have played the swamp. I'm a nerd. You know what? I think I just... I don't care. I think I want a Salundi Vision. Feed the Swarm perfect. I, I think that's the better play. You can attack me for two. Maybe I should have waited until they were gonna... They were gonna go to the end game with that. But honestly, it's just better this way. Alright, so this gets plus one, plus one whenever a land enters the battlefield under their control. Oh, all creatures. So not playing that swamp really hurt me. Don't, don't have a fighting. Oh Lord. Man, I really like this game. An XX where this is. Oh my working God. XX where this is the converted mana cost. Okay. I, I'm getting messed with my decision making. They want to open attacks. I'm okay with that. Because I'm going to royal into the royal, kick it, get my creature token. Okay. 
Okay. Actually, I'm just going to destroy it. Do they seriously get to reveal a card from outside the game and then get another one of these and draft? No, they, they didn't, right? Yeah. I want them to attack first. Yeah, that's right. Give me my thing, nerd. Got it. I'm gonna see what they wanna do. I'm gonna see if they block this. Really? So I could Glacial Grasp. But I don't think I want to do that. I was going to be angry if they got two of that angel, right? But then at that point, you just put it in the game, right? Or put it in your, your deck. It's not a legendary. Oh, the art on that's cool. I think I could take four damage. This has flash, so. All right. We have a means to kill the angel. Don't, don't, don't have an answer. Don't you dare. That is so good. I can't even get rid of this thing now. I'm so mad. Oh, you nerd. I'm going to Glacial Grasp this. We're just going to keep bouncing it back. Oh, this is so... Th that, that was a blowout. Dauntless Unity. Is it gain Hexproof? I'm not passing. We're going to just tap this. Tap, tap, tap. Tap it all day long. We might actually be able to win just from that nonsense. I think I play the Relic Golem and the Soaring Thought Thief. Because this isn't going to tap. This isn't going to uh, untap this turn. They were trying to BM and they got punished. Yup. And now I have Into the Royal. So even when this untaps, I can just bounce it back. So play a big drop. Play a big, big spell. This can attack, by the way, because I have they have eight cards in hand. Yup. You know what? I, I my opponent's going first, and again, I I have a lot of lands in my deck, so I feel like I can make this play. Right? I feel like I can keep this because I do have several spells to cast. Like the Seagate Colossus is whatever, but if they have a discard spell, I just discard that. You can't go seven zero. No, I just want the 7. If I said 7-0, oh, I misspoke. All right. All right, this is the part where we don't draw land. Oh, no. 
don't have removal. This is actually pretty perfect for me. I'm gonna mill them. Oh, Valakut. Valakut's awakening. That would have been uh, pretty fun. I don't know if... I, I think I want to keep this in play. So I think I just hold up the three mana like I, I don't have anything. Did you kick that? Okay. That's fine, I guess. Oh, they did they didn't they weren't able to. Okay, so we're definitely attacking here. Agent Green Warden. Woof. And we got rid of the thing that kills our thing. Um now my question is do we want to let our shields down for a turn? I don't think we do. I think I think we just hold on to this. And I think they might want to buff that. So now I deadly alliance this. I expedition stalker. We mill. Oh my god, we keep milling all their good stuff. I love it. Then I have this Expedition Skulker to kill their 4-3. And then... What are the odds they have another one of those? I think very low, so I think I actually protect this. I give it indestructible. So now they can't attack. And if they have a thing to kill my... Oh, they didn't. Oh, my God. Yes. Mmm. That's so good, chat. I think I play the 4-3 vampire out. All right, so... No ember cleave. That's right, there's no Ember Cleave in this format. That's fine. Mill, mill, mill your deck. Mill your deck all day. Do, 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 do. I think I just play the 7 5, right? Why am I not playing the 7 5, chat? That's a lot of trees. What is their deck, man? How many cards are in their deck? 13? What does this do? Whenever a land enters the play, put four counters on a target plant you control. All right, got it. So, hate this. See, this was their mistake. Now I tap it. Mill you two. They're done. <laughs> I go first, but I don't have any threats. And that's an aggro player that doesn't know the late game. I miss you too, Bat Clam. For those of you who are tuning in, Bat Clam is my wifey. He's my wifey for lifey. That's right, I put a ring on it. I think I actually just want to play the base camp so I can get Nighthawk Scavenger next turn. But I'm not going to play Nighthawk Scavenger because this is a good late game threat and they're possibly going to have an early game answer. So I think I just want to play my Sphinx 
and say go. That clam and Leia are a couple goals. Thank you. I mean, you're not wrong. We are. He brews decks. I love it. That's the stupidest name, and I want it. I love it. Whoever you are, that's amazing. They like anti cognition. Okay. Uh, we want to cast that, that, and that. We want to hold up mana just in case. I will royal you. Don't think I won't do it. I'll royal the heck out of you. I honestly just want this person to win just for the name. This is a cleric. Uh, again, we're going to manually tap. See what our opponent does. We got a counter spell. They might. I don't want to roy into the royal on my turn because that's not really good tempo. I'm going to save my own dude. Not great, but better than letting my Nighthawk Scavenger die. Now, if I could just draw um, another good payoff, I think we're good. I think I want to play the Sure-Footed Infiltrator. Because this is a rogue and I can tap it next turn to make this unblockable. That's fine. My opponent has a lot of answers, and all we need is just a turn or two of just them losing steam. What is this? And just the battlefield to look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal one. Uh, yup, okay. Yeah, we, we need to do that. This is unblockable. I think we play the Expedition Skulker? Yeah. Yeah, my opponent's found some good answers. Them drawing that really sucks. However, you know, the Into the Royal now has a little bit of negative tempo. And we can destroy their flying threat. Not negative tempo, but like it bouncing this doesn't end this game for me. Attack there. I think I want. Yeah, I'm okay with this exchange. So I'm gonna attack now and see what they do. They're just paying two to kick it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'm going to kill this cleric now so I can draw a card. So they have to have a counter spell. Yeah, because they didn't assign blocks, so the attack still goes through. This goes in my hand. And now they clearly want to counter... Oh, god damn it! Oh, that's such a punish. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, that was good play by my opponent. I'm just not going to attack. They have another thing there. They have to have another thing, right? Wait, 
with power three or less. God bless you, little nerd. This has death touch. My God, they just had all the answers now, didn't they? They just literally had all the answers. There's just no winning from here. He truly brewed this deck. Just block. Just block. I have to bank that they don't have a counter spell, so. Or a pump spell. With some Cheerios from 2016 help. Learn to throw out your, your expired products, people. People. Whenever this blocks a creature, that creature doesn't tap. Untap. <sighs> Can't attack. This, this really sucks, man. I'm getting wrecked here. I have to block this. Ugh. My hope is that I'll mill something with the Relic Golem to increase the health of the, uh, or the, the life gain effect of this. But, like, we're really far behind. It sucks. If this was kicked, it can attack as though it doesn't have defender on it because it has 1-1 counters on it. They just have all flying threats. Yep. So we kill this. Target opponent mills two cards. This is going to give me an extra health. That's that's not really an oopsie moment. So I gain four, this dies, then I take three. And if I can kill this, we're in good shape. Mm-hmm. So then they're at ten. I can now attack them. So they have to have a burn spell here. I'm going to hold this in my hand to make it look like I have something. I think they were oopsing the attack with the 1-3. Good game. Got him! Woo! I think I want this entire hand. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're going to play Soaring Thought Thief first. I'm actually a nerd. I should have played the Umbra Wizard. That's okay. Should have played the Umbra Wizard. As a land, because then I could ruin Crab. And then base camp on turn three. I didn't play optimally. That's fine. Mill, mill, mill yourself. That is a really good thing to uh, get rid of. <sighs> yeah. So we play this as a land, and then we hold up Roiling. They're playing blue-black kick spells. That's pretty nifty. I like it. We don't even have the ability to Royal here. Oh my god, we are... We are in trouble.
Here is my question. I think I play the Night Nighthawk Scavenger and just hope and pray that they don't have something. Because I can I can um, basically heal up with this. I have three cards in hand. Attack me, Squire. I'm ready to die. Finally get the crab and nothing. What the fork is that? I'm sorry, what is this? What is this? Drain of the Last Blood Chief. Whenever this attacks, defending player chooses a non-legendary card in the graveyard. Oh my shit. I think I actually want a Roiling. So right here is a perfect example of what to do. I could kill it, but this makes my attack next turn a little bit better. Because now I get a free attack in here in the air. And then my opponent will play it again because that's the best play for them. And then I kill it with the sorcery. And if I draw a land, I can mill them even further. Yeah, see? They don't really have a lot of options here. Uh-huh. This is good for us. So I would like a land to play my Ruin Crab and then a Feed the Swarm. That's fine. So we're totally going to kill this. I lose five health. I play my Ruin Crab and then I attack. And then these get buffed. And I'm basically good. So what's really good about the synergy here is Soaring Thieves, whenever you attack, you mill their two cards. So then it asks, it, it looks and sees if they have eight cards or more in the graveyard, which will buff the uh, the rogues after the attack is declared, but before the damage is done. And see, by playing it the way we did, we forced them to play behind on tempo. They paid five mana two turns and didn't do anything for two turns. God, tempo decks are sexy. This doesn't... Oh, this has power three or less. We can actually kill it if they try and do something. Right? It's actually very good for us. So they mill two more cards. Or they mill three cards. Ooh, that's getting big. This is where they're going to play around stuff, right? No two more cards. They're going to try and cast a spell here, right? I think we're so far ahead that we don't actually play our uh, Vanquish the Week unless they play something. Because if they play something in response, we get to kill this. What does this do? Put two counters on a creature. Get out. So now they don't have blockers again. And the block was declared, which I knew they did. They had to have something there, so I was just kind of playing around them having a flying blocker. Like, we're, we're at such a high health total, and they're almost milled out. Like, we just kind of have to stall here. They finally, finally got a way to kill that. Isn't that hilarious? Isn't that hilarious? <sighs> the play last turn was still correct because they could have turned their creature into a 4-1.
Okay. I block their 5-5 five, five if they kick this. Oh, they this doesn't have kicker on it. We're fine. All right, instant. Oh yeah, feels good. Good game. Thank you. Yeah, we totally hold for Deadly Alliance there. Because my, my worry was that they would hold a counter spell like Negate in their hand. I think I keep because they're going first. I could play base camp. I have a lot of two drops. Oh no, I'm going first. Even better. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, what nonsense do you have? Oh no, it's Abzan. Okay, so right here, I am going to get rid of their 1-4 because it's a guarantee. I'm going to make it look like I might have a one, one mana cantrip. This helps us draw. Wait, what? Oh, this isn't the drawing one. Oh, shit. That's so dumb of me. That's so dumb of me. I do not know my Zendikar Rising. I thought that was the other one. The one that, um... The other one. Oh no, they're playing cats. And their cat tokens are adorable! We're screwed. Attack me, cat. So we kill this, right? We just straight up kill that. Mill them too. I don't want to kill the cat, but I will. What the hell is this thing? That sucks. May I please have a land? May I please have a land? I guess I'm taking five here, but then this golem is going to be better. Oh, no. This is the one I got it confused with. Their stat line is the same. You're a douche. Choose a card with three or greater cost. They they made this thing flying. They're a douche. Really? I guess they're just trying to beat me in the air. I'm down for that. Now this can attack. Now I have this. So we just we just hold back with soaring thought thief now. What the hell does this do? Oh, they're a cleric deck. 
Land would be great. Yeah, I think I attack with these two. I gotta force some damage off the board. Oh, they put flying on that. Smart. Smart. Land. Yeah, that, that's going to do it. That is definitely going to do it. Okay, so that's seven. Question. Whenever you gain life for the first time, put a counter on the... This is four. Any of these have lifelink? So this is three, seven damage. Got it. All right. And then this gains indestructible. And we win! Seven! Woo! Gems. We, we got 2,200. Mm. Love it. All right, that, that's all we're going to be playing. I feel like that's a high note to end on. So let's see what we get in our booster packs. Grim Tutor? Oh, my Lord. I've been a good girl. Oh, another mythic? Oh, please, just shower me with mythics. What do we got here? At the beginning of your turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature you control. That's pretty sick. Spirit on fire. Thank you so much for the gift subs. You really are helping the channel grow and the content flow. Thank you so much. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching our video. Now to give a special shout out to our sponsor tier patrons. Neji Kuma, we appreciate all the support you give to us. You keep the channel growing and the content flowing. If you want to be alerted to when we post a new video, make sure to ding that bell next to the subscribe button. If you like the content you see here, then consider tossing us a follow on twitch.tv forward slash fierce ferrets. And if you're really feeling the ferrety love, please consider supporting our work at patreon.com forward slash fierce ferrets. We don't make any money here on YouTube, so we rely on the generosity of our Twitch and Patreon subs, listed in these credits here, to bring more quality entertainment to you. And you'll get some great rewards for helping out. Thanks again, friends! And we'll see you next video.